Hey, it's Ryan at Prisma here, and I'd like to talk about a change that has come at version 2.16, and that is the way that you get the Prisma CLI. So if you have been around Prisma 2 for a while, you probably know that to get the CLI, you do an NPM install or a yarn add on at Prisma slash CLI. Going forward, however, it's going to be an NPM install on Prisma. So we're changing the name of the package that you're going to install to get the CLI. And the reason for this is that Prisma, this package name, was used for Prisma 1. So if you have been around since the Prisma 1 days, you may be familiar with how you used to do an NPM install on Prisma. And the trouble is that because we do a lot of stuff with NPX, users have been running into this issue where if they don't have the proper Prisma CLI installed local to their workspace, NPX is going to go out to the network and is going to reach for Prisma 1, which is of course not compatible with Prisma 2, and it's creating all sorts of confusion for developers as they were working with Prisma. So to ease that and to make things a little bit easier going into the future for everyone, the Prisma CLI will be available at the Prisma namespace. Now at the time of this recording, you will still be able to get the CLI at the at Prisma slash CLI namespace, but after a few releases, it's only going to be available at Prisma and you'll get an error if you try to use the old name. So what does this mean for you and your projects? Well, if you're starting up a new Prisma project, you will want to do npm install with a dev dependency flag, Prisma, that's going to give you the proper Prisma CLI at latest. And in fact, if you don't want to install it as a dev dependency for whatever reason, you can do npx Prisma init, for example, and that's going to reach out to the network and get the most current version of Prisma, which at the time of this recording is 2.16. And it's going to work just like you'd expect. We do recommend though that you actually install it as a dev dependency. That's going to give you the best results for consistency. So Prisma will be the package name to use as your Prisma CLI. And eventually at Prisma slash CLI will be no more. So just a heads up, probably not a lot you have to do throughout your code base, but do a global search for at Prisma slash CLI to see if you're using it, pulling in uh, pieces of it anywhere in your code base and make the appropriate adjustments if you are. One last thing to note is that if you are going to go ahead and put the Prisma package in like this right now to your dev dependencies, just make sure you uninstall the at Prisma slash CLI package. At the time of this recording, it is possible to do npm install dev at Prisma slash CLI as well. And that's going to give you both those packages installed local to your workspace. And that might not give you desirable results. You might have some conflicting things happening there. So just do npm uninstall at Prisma slash CLI and you should be good to go. 